What is everybody? We're gonna be showing you how to easily um, add a, a actual pixel from Facebook into your Google Sites. So Google Sites is an amazing place to build websites totally for free. And as you can see, have this uh, stuff that we can use to show people um, our content totally for free. Now, what I want to do is to track how many people are going inside in here, how many people click into the link here, how many people uh, search more stuff. That's the reason why I wanted to add a, a Facebook pixel. And to do that, we need to go into the business.facebook.com. Once you are in here, what you want to do is to have an actual business ID plan of Facebook. So once you are in here, what I wanted to do is to look out for connect my data sources. So what I want to do is to choose web and hit into connect. Now it's going to be asking for the name of your pixel. In my case, I'm going to type the name of this branding of our customers, hit into create the pixel. And now that my pixel has been now created, what I wanted to do is to enter a website URL. So I'm going to go back here into this URL, into this Canva, into this actual Google Sites. I'm going to publish these actual URL, these stuff. And then later on, what I want to do is to copy the publish site link. And I'm going to paste it into a new tab just to make sure that it's actually working. So as you can see, it is actually working really well. Great. So let's go back into Events Manager. I paste this link and hit into check. Now I'm going to hit now into next. And as you can see how to connect your actual website, there's actually a bunch of ways that you can choose it, but I can totally suggest to you to choose the one that says recommended version, which in my case is this one. So I'm later going to hit into next and set up with a partner integration. You can set up with a conversions API getaway, or you can do this manually. If I hit where it says set up manually and hit into next, it's going to be giving us um, a information that we need to import manually. So let's go into continue. And here it says select events. I'm going to type view content, continue. And I have the event detail parameters. So it's actually looking great hit now into continue and here's my view content review the setup here now into continue and as you can see i do have the instructions i'm going to go into manually implement the api yourself so i'm going to hit into continue the pixel setup and there we go so i wanted to go into install the code manually so this code i need to copy this code and i need to paste that into a bottom of the head section just above the head tagged. So let's go back in here and let's go into Embeamed. Here into Embeamed, I'm gonna go with Embeamed code. I paste the code that was generated for me. I hit into next. It should be appearing this pencil. I'm gonna hit into insert. And now I'm gonna just move this into the very first part of my website. It should be like blank, totally transparent. I'm going to hit now into publish, publish once again, and there we go. So I'm going to hit now into continue, continue once again, go to the pixel overview, and this one should be successfully added. Just in case that you want to make sure that the Metapixel has been successfully added, what I want to do is to install an extension from Facebook. And this one is called the Metapixel Helper. So this meta pixel helper is going to be helping us to just check it out if there's an actual pixel inside our website. And as you can see, I have access to this site. So it's actually working. As you can see, it wasn't that hard to set it up our stuff from the actual um, Google site inside your events manager of Facebook. Just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. So hopefully this was very useful for you guys. Now I'll see you on this next video and thank you so much for watching this video.